Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 17. So for this question we're asked to work out the product of the 10th and 14th terms. So what we need to do is work out how to get from one term to the next. We're told it's a geometric progression so we must either multiply or divide to get to the next term. To get from 3 to square root 3, you could divide by square root 3. This works for the next one because square root 3 divided by square root 3 is just 1 and then 1 divided by square root 3 is obviously 1 over square root 3. So to get from one term to the next term you divide by square root 3. This is also the same as multiplying by 1 over root 3. This will allow us to write down the nth term of the sequence. To get any term in the sequence we can start with the first term which is 3 and then we just multiply this by 1 over square root 3 however many times we need. To get the second term we multiply it by 1 over root 3 once to get the third term we multiply it by that twice, and so on. So we could actually say this is to the power n minus 1. Now we can use this formula to work out the 10th and 14th terms. So let's start with the 10th term. It would be 3 times 1 over root 3 to the power 10 minus 1. And obviously 10 minus 1 is 9. Using our indices rules this is the same as 3 times 1 to the 9 over square root 3 to the 9. 1 to the 9 is obviously just 1, so we don't need to write that power 9 there. And then for the numerators, we'd multiply 3 and 1 to get 3. So it's 3 over square root 3 to the power 9. So we have 3 on the top, which is 3 to the power 1. And on the bottom, we have square root 3 to the power 9. Now square root 3 could also be written as 3 to the power 1 half. And we have this in a bracket raised to the power 9. When you have brackets like this, you multiply the indices. So we just need to do 1 half times 9, which is 9 halves. So on the denominator there we could write 3 to the power 9 over 2. Now both the numerator and denominator are powers of 3 and we're dividing them, so we can use the division law which means we subtract the indices. So 1 take away 9 over 2 is negative 7 over 2. We'll do the same process for the 14th term. So this time it's 3 times 1 over square root 3 to the power 14 minus 1. 14 minus 1 is 13. So this equals 3 times 1 to the power 13 over square root 3 to the power 13. 1 to the power 13 is just 1, and 3 times 1 is 3. So we have 3 to the power 1 on the top, and on the bottom we have square root 3, which is 3 to the power 1 half, all to the power 13. So if we multiply 1 half and 13, we get 13 over 2. So it's 3 to the power 13 over 2. We now subtract these powers, 1 take away 13 over 2 is negative 11 over 2. So we found the 10th and 14th terms as a power of 3. The question asks for the product of these, so we need to multiply them together. So 3 to the negative 7 over 2 times 3 to the negative 11 over 2. When you multiply these, you would add the indices, so negative 7 over 2 add negative 11 over 2 is the same as negative 18 over 2. And negative 18 over 2 is the same as negative 9. We've now answered the question because it asked us to give this in the form 3 to the k where k is an integer, and negative 9 is an integer. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.